The latest news on Bahrain International, I'm Mohamed Shaban. Good evening. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, is taking part in the Ironman World Triathlon Championship Challenge to be held today in Kona District, Hawaii. The tournament is set to kick off at 6 a.m. Kona local time, that's 7 p.m. Bahrain local time, with the participation of 3,000 contestants from around the globe. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that there is no goal before him in the World Triathlon Championship other than to achieve an advanced positive result that proves his meritorious high achievement in the Ironman sport. He said he possesses the willpower and resolve to honor the Kingdom of Bahrain and promote it through the accomplishments he is seeking. His Highness continued to state that the race will not be an easy task as it coincides with the 40th anniversary of organizing the Ironman World Championships as everyone is set to achieve advanced positions in this tournament. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his aspirations of attaining the goal that he set for himself, adding that all conditions have been paved to achieve his goal. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, attended the award distribution ceremony for the Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa Award for Charity Work held under the patronage of the Governor of the Southern Government, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa. Sheikh Khalifa affirmed that the government encourages all initiatives that promote charitable work in the society. He said Bahrain has provided an environment that strengthens charitable work, which has developed in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, pointing out that the government has prepared all the possibilities that encourage young people to engage in charitable works and develop the benefactors to serve their country in accordance with the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa expressed his pride in the initiatives of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali and congratulated the winners of the award. The Governor of the Southern Governorate delivered a speech in which he stressed that every endeavor to serve humanity is dedicated to Allah the Almighty and the charity is an integral part of the virtues of the Islamic religion. His Highness noted with appreciation and gratitude the unlimited 
good support of the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, who encouraged the establishment of the award. He recalled the virtues of the late Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa and his establishment of many charitable and humanitarian organizations. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa handed over a prize in honor of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa's role in charitable work. It was received by the Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Deputy Premier, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Governor, and distributed his award for charity work to the honorees.
The Kingdom of Bahrain today has been elected as a member in the Human Rights Council for the term 2019-2021. The Kingdom believes that human rights are universal, inalienable and indivisible and recognizes the significant role of the Human Rights Council in promoting international efforts to protect human rights and addressing all violations in the framework of the United Nations system. The election of Bahrain reflects its constant achievements in the field of human rights. Bahrain has made many national and international initiatives and achievements, including the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, the Princess Sabika and Ibrahim Al Khalifa Global Award for Women Empowerment, the National Referral Mechanism for Victims of Trafficking in Persons, and the Flexible Work Permit for Foreign Workers. The Kingdom of Bahrain was also the first country to submit its report in the Universal Periodic Review Mechanism. The Human Rights Council adopted the third periodic report of the Kingdom of Bahrain on September the 21st of 2017, where delegates participating at the 36th session of the Human Rights Council praised the Kingdom of Bahrain's achievements and position on the recommendations contained in the third report of the Working Group on the Universal Periodic Review. The membership of Bahrain and the Human Rights Council will enable it to continue its efforts to promote and protect human rights at all national and international levels in order to make a useful and unique contribution to the work of the Council. Bahrain will also help to encourage all members of the international community to work in an integrated manner to achieve the high principles of human rights. Through its membership in the Council, the Kingdom will be committed to the principles of consultation and constructive dialogue and cooperation with all United Nations member states in general and Human Rights Council members in particular for the continuation and development of human rights systems and high principles. In light of Bahrain's nominations for the UNHRC membership, the Assistant Foreign Minister, Mr. Abdullah bin Faisal bin Jabr al-Dosari, commented on the, kingdoms of the fifth nomination of the kingdom, praising its achievements in the field. Going to the Human Rights Council for the fifth time of our history, we've been in the council four times before, and we have contributed positively during our uh, mandate times. This time we, we go to, to the council with a great track record of experience and track record of achievement. Uh, especially for the last 16 years uh, under the leadership of King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Hafizullah Ra'a. And the achievement we have done in the last 16 years in all areas of human rights has become an asset not only for Bahrain, but an asset for the humanity. And um, at multilateral level, where we need to share this with our colleagues and partners at the international community within uh, our mandate at the Council. The UN's 73rd Assembly is also the platform of the 2018 Human Rights Council nomination vote. The countries nominated to the Council, such as the Kingdom of Bahrain, pledged to uphold human rights and fight for them all over the world. More on this report with Sarah Lebrek. The United Nations 73rd General Assembly will take place on Friday the 12th of October 2018. And during that assembly, the elections of the 47 member states Human Rights Council will take place. The Kingdom of Bahrain's vast experience in the fields of human rights and the preservation of human rights values has made it an expert on many panels. The Human Rights uh, Council is an international body within the United Nations and it's responsible for the promotion uh, and the protection of human rights throughout the world, not throughout um, any specific region, and for addressing and making recommendations that promote uh, human rights and protect human rights. The capacity is within the Human Rights Council to discuss all rights. Uh, human rights uh, issues, whether they are positive or they uh, need improvement, any human rights uh, situation that requires attention is within the uh, mandate uh, uh, of uh, the Human Rights Council. So again, we say that it's natural for us, given everything that I've told you, for the Kingdom of Bahrain to be part of this uh, international uh, mechanism. I believe, yani, as NIHR, that Bahrain uh, or the Kingdom's role will be effective and very important. Uh, to, the, to work within the Council uh, in spreading the universal aspects of international principles as they relate to human rights and other fundamental freedoms without any discrimination of any kind through a just and equal manner uh, for all. We are one of the countries that adhere to international uh, mechanisms of human rights through the promotion and the protection and the awareness of, of human rights. Uh, and even before the establishment of the Council, uh, as you may know, in 2006. 
We are deeply committed as a country, and I'm very proud of that, uh, to implementing the basic uh, principles of human rights. Uh, the National Institution of Human Rights is one of the uh, several mechanisms that are in place by His Majesty uh, the King uh, and the government to promote and protect human rights. The Kingdom of Bahrain signed and ratified a number of regional and international agreements and conventions including the Arab Charter on Human Rights, the International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Radical Discrimination, the International Convent on Civil and Political Rights, and the International Convent on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights. The Kingdom of Bahrain established itself as a role model in transparency and integrity by further developing the instruments of political participation and adopting a dual system consisting of parliament and shura councils. So Bahrain has done a lot to, to in the promotion and protection of human rights on the national level. However, with regard to the Human Rights Council, Bahrain was one of the first states to become a member in the Human Rights Council when it was first launched as an international human rights mechanism. Bahrain has contributed a lot uh, when it was elected in 2006 in the Human Rights Council, and I believe it is very necessary and important for Bahrain to have a, a, a role in the foreseeable future when elected again in the Human Rights Council, since I believe firmly that Bahrain uh, needs to influence uh, or provide its input and influence to other states and international uh, bodies and stakeholders with regard to the protection and promotion of human rights on an international uh, level. Uh, of course, Bahrain is a country that is very small in its size, however, very big in its ambition. And that is not only reflected in human rights, but in other factors and elements uh, uh, within the state. And indeed, uh, Bahrain's election in the Human Rights Council will contribute positively uh, uh, in the promotion of human rights on an international level. And I believe that the contribution of Bahrain will be very positive, and that will be seen in the foreseeable future. Furthermore, the Kingdom developed its human rights mechanisms by ensuring the independence of the National Institute for Human Rights in line with the Paris Principles, establishing the Ombudsman's Office in the Minister of Interior, establishing the Prisoners and Detainees' Rights Commission, and establishing the Special Investigations Unit in the Public Prosecution Office, as well as ensuring the independence of the Ministry of Interior's Complaints Bureau. In addition to the National Institute for Human Rights, the Supreme Council for Women continued its active role in empowering women and ensuring gender equality in line with the Kingdom's constitution and national legislations. This is Sarah Brake, reporting for Bahrain International. The Media Committee of the Executive Committee for the Parliamentary and Municipal Elections organized a musical performance at the Avenues Mall, which is part of the activities accompanying the electoral process. The Media Committee said that this event is aimed at all groups. The police band gave a variety of musical performances, military and traditional music. The committee noted that this event comes in conjunction with the parliamentary and municipal elections currently taking place in the kingdom and includes many events, adding that a number of educational manuals that explain the guidelines of the electoral process will be distributed along with souvenirs.